सो आई हैव मेड एरोज लाइक दिस सो दैट यू कैन रिकलेक्ट वॉट इज हैपनिंग यू लुक एट दी हाई इनपुट्स ओके हाई एंट्रीज दिस इज हाई वन देन यू लुक एट करिस्पॉन्डिंग एक्स value okay and you find the equivalent min term notation so you see x is equal to 1 so your min term notation is x okay similarly over here look you are looking at a high entry okay you look at corresponding x value which is 0 and x is equal to 0 in min term notation is x bar okay so that's how you do it now let's realize it quickly i am going to copy this thing as it is and going to change the max inputs okay so i'm going to paste it down below okay there you have it now obviously these inputs are not valid anymore right i have to have new set of inputs my new set of inputs are over here i have already decided or i have already calculated what these inputs are okay so for d0 d1 d2 d3 for max a the values are 0 x 1 and x bar okay 0 x 1 and x bar so this is 0 right this is x okay this is x bar 0 x 1 and x bar right 0 x 1 and x bar so this is not x bar this is 1 okay and this is x bar okay so your d a is ready your next set of values are x x x and x bar sorry uh, this is x bar okay so this is x x bar x x bar okay so these two you are going to connect with x okay and these two you are going to connect with x bar okay so this is your equivalent logic diagram having conditional inputs okay equivalent logic diagram okay now let's look at this asm chart okay in this asm chart i have two input variables i have x1 and x2 okay so i have state q1 from q1 it directly goes to q2 irrespective of x1 and x2 okay and in q1 output of 1 is produced okay then from q2 i have to check what are my inputs if my x1 x2 is 1 1 then z is equal to 0 is produced or given as output and i go to q3 okay however if x1 x2 are 0 0 or 0 1 or 1 0 then z is equal to 1 is produced or a high level input at output z is produced and i go to q3 okay now from q3 what happens if you have x2 as 1 then your z goes high your output goes high and you go to q4 and if your x2 is 0 your z goes low and you go to q4 okay and finally from q4 you go back to your starting position okay your starting position is q1 okay so let me just complete this asm chart i go back to q1 like this okay now the question is you have to realize this using d flip flops okay this is another example that we are going to look at final example for this session okay you have to realize 